All right, this video is over section 11-6 on the surface area and volumes of spheres. We'll talk about what spheres are, how to find the surface area, and volume of a sphere. Okay, so, a so we know in two dimensions, um, all the points that are the same distance away from a central point is a circle. Okay, so this distance is the same all the way around the circle on a circle. Okay, we call that distance the radius. Okay, now a sphere is the exact same idea as a circle, except now it's three dimensions. So we have a center point called the center, um, and we have, it's all the points that are the same distance away, um, and that distance is called the radius, okay, just like a circle. Okay, I know you've seen um, spheres before. Um, now, the way you find the surface area of a sphere is using this equation here, 4 pi r squared, okay? And I like this visual down here um, that shows kind of a baseball that's been um, unraveled to show that you get about four circles um, in the baseball, okay? And that covers the entire baseball, and so it's 4 pi r squared, okay? It's a good way to, to remember it. Now, an example, um, what is the surface area of the sphere in terms of pi? Okay, um, well, the, the equation, the surface area is 4 pi r squared, okay? Now, the radius of this circle is not 10. Um, this is the radius. It's going to be 5. So it's 4 pi times 5 squared. Now, to leave it in terms of pi, we're going to forget about the pi for a second. So 4 times 5 squared is 100 pi uh, meters squared. Okay, now again, this is a surface area, and area is always in square meters or square units. Okay, the second one, um, what is the surface area of a sphere with a diameter of 14 inches? Now, if the diameter is 14, the radius must be 7. Okay, give your answer in terms of pi and round it to the nearest square inch. Okay, again, the surface area is 4 pi r squared. The radius is 7 inches. So it's 4, sorry, it's 4 pi 7 squared. Now, in terms of pi, I will do 4 times 7 squared, or 4 times 49. And I got 196. So 196 pi um, inches squared is what the answer is in terms of pi. Now, to find it to the nearest square inch, I will take 196 and multiply by pi. Okay, now I'll use the pi button on my calculator. You could use 3.14, but you'll have some rounding off. Okay, so I get 615.75. Now, again, rounded to the nearest square inch is 616 um, inches squared. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Um, the volume of a sphere. Now, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Uh, we don't have time in this video to discuss why um, that is. Um, but the book goes into detail about, you know, filling it up with, with, with pyramids, which I think is really cool. Um, but we don't have time for it in this video. Okay. So what is the volume of the sphere in terms of pi? Well, the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. The radius is 6. So 4 thirds pi times 6 cubed. Now, to find it in terms of pi, I will kind of forget about pi for a second and do 4 thirds times 6 to the third power. Now, let me take a side note and say, how do you do this on your calculator? Well, um, on my calculator, there's a little caret button. You'll see underneath the clear button. Um, so it's 6 caret 3 is 6 to the third power. Okay. Some um, calculators have like an x to the y button, um, in which case you probably do um, 6 x to the y button 3. Um, I give it to you. I can't think of what, what, the, what the iPod or an iPad have um, on their calculator. But um, most, most calculators have a button that allows you to do powers. Otherwise, 6 times 6 times 6 um, would always work. Um, so I get 288 pi uh, meters cubed. Again, this is a volume, so my units are in cubic meters or cubic units. 
The second one, um, a sphere um, has a diameter of 60 inches. What is its volume to the nearest cubic inch? Okay, again, the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. The radius is, let's see, this is the diameter, so the radius must be 30. So it's 4 thirds pi times 30 cubed. 4 thirds times 30 cubed. Oh, you know what? It's, it's to the nearest um, nearest cubic inch. So I then multiply by pi, and I get one, uh, no, I get 113, 0, 9, 7 rounded. Now you'll get something different if you if you use 3.14 instead of the pi button, but I use the pi button so I don't round off as much. Okay. Okay, this video was about what a sphere is, um, how to find the surface area and volume of a sphere. Really, you just use those two formulas and you plug in the radius and you get um, the surface area or the volume.